He is already the world's strongest, now hopes to become the world's fastest. And there is no question he is one of the most extraordinary athletes to ever call Sacramento home. News stands Ryan Yamamoto joining us live from the Information Center with this amazing story. Ryan. Well, Brian, you're absolutely right. There's no question that Doug Farrell is an elite athlete. He is strong and he is fast. And every day he shows people the true measure of an athlete is that person's heart and not his size. Focus, people. Focus. It's a little reminder for an elite athlete. I need to focus. Whose journey will take him to the Summer Games this year. But Doug Farrell is not your average competitor. Where are you going? He is somewhat of a little guy. Let's get real. With a giant dream. Later. I want to be the fastest dwarf in the world. From there, all the way down to there. Fast speed. This Saturday, Farrell will compete at the World Dwarf Games in Detroit. This is serious competition. You get, for once, you get to compete on your level. Claude! Yes. Where for the past year, he has sweat and strained, pushing his body at the gym. Make a billy goat puke. Oh, this is Jerry Rice style. Because Doug Farrell is living proof. Come on, Jerry. Come work out with me. You don't need height. Push. to measure the heart of an athlete. I've been pushing myself to the bone out here. Yeah. So I'm working on my starts right now to get out of the gate fast. But success is nothing new to Doug. In 2004, he became the world's strongest dwarf, bench pressing 368 pounds. He is also a bit of a daredevil, a stuntman and an actor who played an Ewok in Return of the Jedi. <laughs> On top of that, an accomplished sports photographer who works the sidelines at the Raiders games and for the Sacramento Kings. And I see other people saying, I can't do that. I, yeah, I shake my head. And then, then as far as my accomplishments, I, I like, my whole body tingles when I talk about it. That emotion comes from a long journey of challenges. Fire your hands. That may have started with these scars when he was a child. I had to learn how to walk again. Surgery on his legs in bed for eight months. Like Forrest Gump, run Forrest. You know, remember those braces he's wearing? Run Forrest, run! I had to wear those same things. You know, run Dougie, run, you know. Come on. But for the longest time, little Dougie couldn't run. Spending time on the sidelines as a water boy, watching his older brother play football until one day he finally got his chance. Um, the coaches asked me if you want to play the last game. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> I get to put the pads on. It was like a scene out of the movie Rudy. Only this time, Doug Farrell was the star. Here comes the player, they ran a sweep. And then, you know, here comes the, you know, the lineman with them. And I'm like, my brother's yelling at me, run. You know, we went after him, we got the tackle. And you hear your name, got the tackle. And I'm like, yes, I did it, you know, yes. <laughs> and at the age of 50, he hopes to do it just one more time. Already the strongest, he wants to become the fastest. Focus, people. Constantly reminding himself what he needs to do. Focus, people, focus. And in case you were wondering, the world record for the 100 meters at the Dwarf Games is 15.97 seconds. Farrell will not only compete in the sprint, but also the javelin and shot put. The Dwarf Games are this weekend in Detroit. And Brian, I just got off the phone with him earlier this afternoon. He was already on the track, winding down his training for the competition, but he was practicing his sprints. He says, I got to get out of the gate very fast. And you just barely touched on his photography career, but I mean, he really is a very, very good sports photographer as well. He's a very good sports photographer. You'll see him on the sidelines over at the Kings games. Thanks very much. Ryan Yamamoto live in the Information Center. We see him out at Kings games a lot. Always a smile on his face, always positive. And again, he is a very good photographer. Take away all the athletic accomplishments as well. But what a great guy to look up to. The most surprising thing to me he's is that he's 50. 50. He's 50. Yeah, exactly. He's in fabulous shape. Take care of yourself inspirational guy. Yeah. He really is. Yeah, he he's, really is. He's a winner already for yeah. all that he's accomplished. Yeah. All right, Brian.